Good morning, everybody. Another day, another set of results from Sunday Creek. And uh, here we have an absolute corker. Uh, we're producing five results, five drill results from the Apollo, so the far eastern side of the project. And as we've seen in other parts of the project, especially at Rising Sun, as we drill deeper, they tend to get better, these results in these epizonal systems. And, and oh my goodness, how they've got better here at uh, this result. There's there's one specific hole, but it's not the only hole that produced amazing results, but hole 145 uh, produced the second highest grade result on the project to date, the second highest assay, and the third best intersection on the property. So that was half a metre at 2,541.9 grams gold. Uh, the highest grade, grade assay was 0.3 at 4,888 grams. And that was over a broader zone. We drilled eight high grade structures and each one of those structures bulks out at 186 metres at 8.8 .8 grams gold. Now, I've just talked about gold here, but there's amazingly high grade antimony here, up to 23.6% antimony uh, in an interval that went uh, half a metre at 48.9 grams gold and, and uh, then that 23.6 grams percent antimony. So, so some amazingly high grade, incredibly high grade, some of the best results that you'll see reported um, and have, have been reported over the last few years globally. Uh, Apollo is delivering uh, just like Rising Sun did at depth. Well, what uh, these results demonstrate to us is that, number one, the grade is increasing at depth. And, and that was our understanding from the rest of the deposit, but now we're proving it at Apollo. And importantly, this was an extension of a high grade core from above, from 76 metres above. So we're starting to see that continuity of those very high grades um, and hitting them where we predicted to hit them. So it's actually a, a great reflection of the deposits grade and it's improving scale and it's continuity. We've got one of the world's larger exploration drill budgets. We're drilling 60 kilometres of drilling at the moment. So much more drilling will go into Apollo at depth. And, and you can see in some of the figures uh, that are in front of you at the moment that there's a lot of holes to report across the project in Apollo and outside. We've got 14 holes that are currently being processed, five rigs drills, drilling, the sixth rig coming very shortly. We're just waiting from some parts to, to make sure that rig can be operational. So we're really giving this project what it deserves and its best shot with lots and lots of drilling, including lots of pre-development work, all the environmental work, working very closely with the local community, uh, putting in a lot of uh, bores, hydrogeological bores, so we understand the groundwater, doing all the flora, fauna and flora mapping, etc. So a lot of serious engineering and environmental work, social work happening behind all that drilling, but it's the drilling that's making this bigger and higher grade. The more we drill into this deposit, the better the continuity of the gold is by the very fact that we're collecting more data and we can get better geostatistical understanding of how this hangs together. So number one, uh, when we look at um, finding the continuity of gold, these, these deposits are very repeatable in the laboratory. Whenever we do multiple fire assays, we're getting very good correlation between the two results. When we do a screen fire assay, which is literally a kilo of more of an assay versus a fire assay, which is 50 grams, we're getting good correlation of those results for the same interval, meaning that uh, at different size fractions, we're getting uh, good uh, replication of uh, results. But then also when we're, when we're building the internal wireframes, the more data we get, uh, we can relate each uh, point in space to another within the same vein set. And, and then we can measure, a very good measure of continuity is the coefficient of variation, which demonstrates the, the consistency or, or irregularity of, of any data set. And, and here we have 
um, so a CV, an uncut CV, coefficient of variation that's less than two when we collect more information. And that's what you really want to see in gold deposits. So under two is very good consistency. Two to five is, you know, fairly uh, fairly challenging, but you can work with it. And above five, it becomes very difficult. But here at Sunday Creek, as at the other surrounding uh, epizonal deposits, we see a very low CV. So they're predictable at many different scales. And, and, uh, and that's obviously... Uh, the what the old timers found when they were mining these things, and we can use their data to inform us as much as drill data and oriented drill core and geological lightness, etc. Of course, we're just talking about the core drill area here at Sunday Creek, which is about 1.2 kilometres from where we're drilling out here at Apollo and uh, drilling back to the west to to Christina. Uh, we have a, a lot more of the system that we haven't drilled yet. So say we've drilled about 30% uh, of that core part of the system to date from Apollo, Rising Sun, Golden Dyke and Christina. Uh, we've got uh, approximately 12 kilometres of extent of the entire system. We're running IP from three to eight kilometres away on the eastern side, and then we'll come back and do the western side, which is about another kilometre half of extension. We're doing the soils and the geological mapping of those areas. So we don't forget the exploration upside. The core area is going to be our focus over the next year but we'll have one drill rig dedicated to testing all those regional anomalies so, so we don't uh, fail to forget that this system can get a lot, lot larger. So I often get asked by many shareholders who, who aren't geologists and, and uh, have a great sense for the business, but what do all these numbers actually mean? So I think we can just talk about global averages and, and why we're so excited about very high grades like we've just reported here from Apollo. So the average grade of a gold mine globally is about one gram per tonne. And if we talk in Australian dollars, gold's approximately about $4,000 Australian an ounce at the moment. So one gram per tonne is worth around $130 to $140 uh, dollars Australian per tonne. So a tonne is about what would fit in your average car boot. It's a, it's about one by one by 30 centimetres, something like that, one metre by one metre by 30 centimetres. So qu quite a small volume of rocks worth about 130 to 140. If you get into the high-grade underground mines um, and and most of the high grade mines uh, that are that or most of the high grade mines are underground you're talking between five and ten grams and then you're starting to talk between six and and twelve hundred dollars a ton so you can see that uh, the margin will be more to mine from an underground mine than an open pit mine so you've got to take all those things into account but uh, you can start to see the value of grade now uh, if you're talking up to thousands of grams it, it becomes just crazy and of course high grades aren't as continuous as low grades and everybody has to model those high grades with great caution in these deposits so they don't have too much of an influence but a, a 2000 gram uh, uh, grams per ton sample in in a, in a ton of rock would be about a quarter of a million Australian dollars so that uh, is a very expensive bootful of rock if you like if you're starting to look at those things so so that's what we're very excited about with Sunday Creek. These very high grades are very important and high grades generally in industry can create extremely high margin deposits. And, and that's what we're trying to build here at Sunday Creek. So in, in summary here, what a great set of results, uh, headlined by 145, but there's some other very strong results uh, that we produce from Apollo, like we see in other epizonal deposits and also at Sunday Creek. This is getting better at depth. This is the third best result on the property. Um, some amazingly, incredibly high grade gold. It has context. It's extending the known system. It's associated with other high grades. Thank you.